sending love from London. This parasha, this Torah portion, in my book, Light of the Infinite, The Genesis of Light, we're in the chapter, every line that I've drawn that points back to you. And this one pasuk, this one verse in this Torah portion, kol ha-nefesh lebeit Yaakov haba mitzrayma shiv'im. It says in the singular nefesh, instead of nefashot, instead of souls. And it says the entire soul of Yaakov, of Jacob's household, who entered Egypt was 70. So it's really to clue us into this interconnectedness that all of these people are one soul. We have to look through life, you know, not being jealous or looking at the other person in this other way that's something that we want or something that we feel we lack. Love Moshe Cardovero says that any success or anything your friend receives, we have to look at it like our own success and have that love for it because then we can mirror that and then we receive that same love, that same light, that same success and those same blessings when we see the good and wish for the good for others. And Rav Meir compares the flip side of this interconnectedness and love to someone who takes revenge and he paints this picture of how fruitless the act would be if you imagine someone holding a knife in their right hand and accidentally cutting their left hand. What purpose would it serve for their left hand to then go ahead and cut the right hand? So we have to look at it like that. If we're all interconnected, then there's no reason to look at it like lack for ourselves. We have to look at it like success and blessings for the other person is our own success because we're all one soul and we're all one people in the end. If we lead with love, then we receive love in that same way and we could all mirror each other in the space of interconnectedness, love and light. Shabbat shalom. Love you guys. Sending love from London.